first test drive. Can't believe this is mine now. flight to catch and we are headed to Sacramento to pick up my dream car this is all I packed just a backpack for the day was carrying most of the heavy things <laughs> love coming to the Burbank Airport because there's like usually not as many people Here she is, first test drive. The cluster is really cute. It's so cute. <laughs> it sounds really good. Yeah. It started up well. believe this is mine now <laughs> I love it so much <laughs> I had to contain my excitement earlier when we were talking to them all right let's <laughs> take it on the drivers Alrighty. the seatbelts are a little dirty <laughs> a little dusty in here but overall the condition okay we have to get gas uh, everything else looks good mm -hmm. cool cool so we are gonna go to Target It's because I have to go pee. How do you like it? I love it. It's so fun. I love how this is flat right here so you can set the camera down. Yeah. The Land Cruiser is like so curved that uh -huh. nothing really stays. I remember the day you brought the Land Cruiser home and I saw it on the driveway. I was like, this thing is massive. And then when we lifted it, it was like, oh my and god. I Target, a little bit of a traffic jam. Can you take me to SoCal? <laughs> It did really well overall. It's a little shaky once I pass like 65 miles per hour. Okay, we just got gas and so far I've driven, yeah, like 200 something miles and I thought it was great. It's what I expected. It's an old car, it's from the year 2000. I think maybe it needs an alignment. So we'll see. I can't wait until we get back and I start like really cleaning it up because it, it feels really dusty in here and it's really triggering my allergies right now. But so far I had so much fun driving it. And we're gonna switch now. Wa's gonna drive the rest of the way home and um, I'm just gonna be passenger princess. I spoke too soon. So we already encountered our first problem. 
I don't know what that piece is. It's part of the belt that's just like it just ripped stripped off. off. Yeah, and it's like um, part of this, whatever belt this is. Yeah, like whatever that it. is. <laughs> Maybe there was like a little tear already from twirling too much. It just kept like twirling and twirling and then, and then it ripped it. Yeah, and change that out once we get back. Alrighty. I don't know why, but I really wish it had a remote things um, dust is gonna come down so make sure you don't do it. Mm -hmm. um, and then twist it down. Pull it down. <laughs> is it that strong? Oh. Oh, how hard did they tie it? It's tight. Okay. 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 I loosen it for you but you can do the rest. Okay. It has happened to you before huh? Yeah. Make sure you keep the pressure pushing it in while you're taking it out. That way once it's all the way loose, then you can just move your hand quick. Nice! And I just twist it on. Righty, righty, tidy, lefty. Righty, tidy, this way. And then do I use that tool? Uh, no. It. Fun stuff. <laughs> sure, don't spill it anyway. It's heavy. It is heavy. You want me to do it? What if you went from this side? Works. I'm doing it. I see it. Good job. It's so heavy. You always feel more confident after you do it yourself one time. Okay. It's like clean it the whole way. Because you want to use a fresh one. Basically. A little dippy dipping game? Yeah. Dip it in there, leave it for two seconds, and then take it back out. It's right. Oh, it's good. So it turns out that noise that we heard yesterday, it's the serpentine belt, which apparently looks like this. So um, after watching some YouTube videos, we are gonna try to tackle it ourselves. This 
is the shredded serpentine belt. Now we try to put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> Started to see if it's working. <laughs> Smells funny. Mm, it's starting to rip a little bit. Yeah. Huh. You see it? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. There's something that's like messing it up. Today is day three with the Jeep. And um, today's project is removing all of the seats to wash them. Smells like an old man in here. Got it? Yep, got it. Thank you. It is! This is a skeleton. I'm pretty sure it's a lizard. But its legs are like this. Oh, There's a skeleton. A yeah, it looks like a frog. There's a frog skeleton inside. Okay, if this stuff scares you, skip. <laughs> This looks like maybe they spilled, I don't know, coffee or soda or something. So I'm gonna try to clean that up. Simple green all-purpose cleaner. Now we have completely taken apart that thing in the center, <laughs> the cup holder thingy. And we are just doing a deep clean around everything and vacuuming it up. So this is what I came across when I took everything out. We have two CDs here. We did come across a old movie ticket from 2005, Legend of Zoe. Anyone remember watching that? Next project is uh, washing these seats because I'm sure they have not been washed in a really long time and they kind of smell. So there's also a lot of stains on it. I'm so excited to wash the seats. I think it's gonna look so much better. While I was cleaning the rug, Mom has been scrubbing down the floor of the car. And ooh, should have seen the before, but this is so clean. <laughs> we were only supposed to wash the seats today, but then one thing led to another, and now we're washing the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> this piece looks confusing. much cleaner because you know <laughs> we actually took it out yeah okay. it has been a full day of detailing the car but i feel so accomplished and i'm so happy with how clean it feels now we did a full detail every little crack and crevice we've cleaned there were spider webs up on the hard top but now they're gone wiped everything down in the back added Navi's car seat. This center console, it had all sorts of like black marks that were deep into the cracks of the plastic and now it's completely clean. It looks really good. I'm so happy. Mm. 
my steering wheel cover arrived. This steering wheel is super slippery and it just makes it hard to drive. This cover should hopefully help a lot. Nah, I don't want to break a nail. We are about to head out to bring the Jeep to a shop. It feels so small. Oh dear. <laughs> It shouldn't be this hard, right? Oh no. No, this is the right size. I guess I just gotta really force it in. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just gonna have Law do it. So we also had to get these um, gas struts because the ones that are currently on the Jeep are original and um, they don't work anymore. And then we also got these seat risers. I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty low. And when we're sitting in here, I feel like I'm not getting the best view. So I think we're just lifting it by, is it one and a quarter inch? Uh, or one and a half inch? One and a half, I think. These will basically go on the bottom to raise the seat, if that makes sense. Right now, if I just like let go, they come right back down. I gotta take this old one off. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on my head, it's so heavy. Oh shoot, it's too heavy for my head too. Anyways, this has been keeping Wa and I very busy and entertained. It has been very fun. <laughs> <laughs> this glass is heavy. I'm tired right now. Smooth. Oh my Bless god. Bless you. So you just give it a little tap this way? <laughs> and then once it's in there, push that this little tab. knob down. Yeah. Match it and put that tab down. Mm -hmm. uh? <laughs> cool. So, pretty self-explanatory. Just gonna give it a go. The seats are almost all the way finished. It took us a little longer because the washer that they gave us was not the right size for some reason. So then we had to go to Home Depot and then pick some parts up, but the wall is almost done and it feels so much taller. <laughs> I just brought the car in for wheel alignment because I got new tires yesterday and then just to have them do like an inspection of the car to see how everything is doing. They did recommend that I should get new shocks soon because the ones that are on the car are original so they're pretty old. I don't know if this video is interesting at all to some of you. I hope it is. I look forward to all the content, all the camping content, all the solo camping content that I plan on doing with it. Yeah, I'm very excited. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna focus on driving now. It's finally time to give you guys a proper car tour. I've been so busy just cleaning it and working on it that I have not had a chance to show you the inside. So let's do this. When you first go inside, you see this really gorgeous green and tan interior. I am so obsessed with the interior. It's one of the reasons why I really wanted a Jeep TJ Sahara. The green and tan interior is only available in the Sahara trim back in the days. And considering that this is a 23 year old vehicle, it still looks really good inside. When you come in, you see the driver's side, and then there is a back row seat. That seats too has seat belts in the back. All right, let me 
just hop in. Here is the driver's side. I bought these weather mats from eBay. They already got so dirty just from taking it to the shop. It's pretty simple. Here is the cluster. Everything looks in really good shape still. No scratches and it looks really nice and clean. Here are the vents and the radio. The radio is so, so cute. You can adjust the bass, the treble, um, and things like that. The radio actually does not work right now because I think one of the fuses is blue, so we have to fix that. Um, but yeah, good old knobs for the temperature. And then down here is the prindle. The what? The prindle. Are you referring to the shift lever that says P-R-N-D-L? I meant a child, Mosby. I know how to spell prindle. And then in here, owner's manual which has been very handy for all the little things that we've been trying to figure out. Here is the center console. It's very deep, actually. I also bought these cup liners. Bought these on Amazon. Just a good way to keep this area clean. The windows are manual, so you gotta crank it down. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So let me show you the back. There's a tab right here. I just pull it and then you can get to the back. So back here is the trunk. I have some grocery bags. The carpet underneath is actually not in terrible shape, but I just wanted to put my own blanket on here. As you can see, you don't have a lot of leg room, but with the seats folded up, there is quite a lot of room for all my camping gear. So I just unclipped it on this end. And now let me see if I could do it with one hand. I can fit my tent in here, my cooler, some chairs. I really look forward to all the adventures I'm gonna have in it. That's it to the car tour. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the Jeep. In case you're wondering about the van again, we do still have it and someone's interested in buying it right now, so we probably won't have that for very long. We went on a few fun trips with it and after having it for a little while, we realized that it's just not what we're really looking for, but we are moving on to smaller things and now we have his and hers project vehicles. <laughs> we love having these little passion projects and yeah, this is the next thing we're working on. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this was fun to watch. I'll see you all in my next video. In the meantime, take care and I love you all. Bye.